Spaceballs short move review. The Spaceballs are a race who have wasted their atmosphere, so they are now looking to steal oxygen from the planet Druidia with its royal family. They are planning to take the princess as a hostage. And so when they attempt to do so, the king calls upon Lone Star, the Han Solo for the movie, and his associate Barf, basically Chewbacca, and yeah, to rescue her, promising a reward which they need in order to pay off their debt with Pizza the Hut. And so we have our adventure. This is a great spoof. They go over a bunch of different things from Star Wars, mainly drawing inspiration from the original Star Wars film as well as some Star Trek, some other sci-fi, and stuff that's very much not sci-fi at all. They spoof most of the major aspects of Star Wars, including 3PO, who's here female, and voiced by Joan Rivers. It, it's smart in that it actually uses proper actors for the lead roles, so when there are more somber moments, when we aren't rolling around on the floor laughing our asses off, it actually works. We actually care about these characters, and there are genuine arcs to several of the characters. The story is actually more of a fairy tale with Star Wars in there, and it's a proper story. It's maybe not the greatest story ever told, but if you took away all the jokes, there'd still be a story there, and that's also something very important for, you know, rewatchability. The jokes and gags are hilarious. Almost all of them work, and most of them are really, really funny. There's silly stuff with, like, slapstick and the like, and, you know, the Darth Vader parody is played by Rick Moranis, who's obviously quite tiny, and to compensate, he has this huge helmet. And he's just, you know, this tiny, insecure little dictator who's barking orders at, you know, his subordinates and, you know, threatening them, which is really funny. And, you know, you have plays on words and such. You know, the Princess Vespa, the princess that they, you know, capture is, or well, try to capture, is you know, said to be Druish, and you know, obviously this is supposed to be Jewish. And, you know, they, when they jam the radar, they literally use jam, like, you know, in a bottle, raspberry jam. The film is quite well paced, and it holds up to multiple viewings. There are some really great... It, it definitely has some of the best... Well, for my money, the best breaking the fourth wall joke ever put to professional film when some of the characters watch the movie that, you know, watch Spaceballs the movie. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.